So in this video, I'm going to illustrate how we can use a list view. So this is just a list view, and you can locate it in your uh, toolbox. Look at it here. So the list view is like the data grid. It has rows and columns. The only difference between a list view and data grid is in its property. It has what is called a view. How you want to view your <coughs> items. Do you want to view them in large icons? Do you want to view them in detailed mode? Or do you want to view them in small icon list type? But the one I've, I've, been, I've been using frequently is details. So uh, we are going to see how we can add columns. So to add a column, you click on this little arrow, you can see it here, you see edit column, or click on this edit column, or you can scroll up in among the property to see if your if yours is in alphabetical order then this edit column so whichever process that you follow it will always lead you to the same place so this is how if you click on that little arrow then you click on edit column then it will bring you to this window so i'll click on add then i'll add a new column and as usual in our normal control that we use in visual basic the control has name and text and we usually change the text to our desired ones like this should be SN the first column if I want to I can change the name this is the name of the column but I will just let me just change it make it SN column header then now add another column I will make it name column holder name then the header will be just name I will add another one I will make it cross Then the name will be cross column header. So let, I'll just leave it for now as three column. The first column is serial number. The second column is name. The third column is uh, cost. So I'll click on OK. But to your surprise, assuming we did this to data grid, we are supposed to see the columns right after we have finished adding them. But in list view, you have to change the view. The view has to be in form of details before you see the columns. If you want to see the columns, you have to make them in detail. And if you choose any other one, you won't see the column because of some restriction that they have. But for now, I'll stick myself to uh, details. So to run the program, let's see, you see exactly it's just like the data grid, you can expand the column and you can disable it if you don't want it to be expanded. You can increase, you can full, full select, you can make changes. So based on the view, that's one of the major advantage of the list view. So, how can we add item to a list view? Then I'll go back back to my toolbox. I'll grab some items like this is a label, then a text box, text box. Then I will need a button. like this so this will so this will be name so here's the text box so I'll make a copy of this I'll make it Cross. I 
then this is my button one. I'll just change the text to add. So I'll double click on add. I'll start by needed. At least view dot list view item. Supposed to use just item, not list view item. List view dot item dot add. Then I'll give the name of the text box. The first column is supposed to be serial number. So let me just declare a variable quickly as integer. Then the here will be i plus one. And I also have to declare a variable. Let me call it list view item as list view item. Something like this. Then I'll assign it to this list view item equals to this. So as I explained earlier on, as I explained earlier on, you see this is the first column. The first column is regarded as the item. The subsequent column, which is the name and the course, will be regarded as sub items. So I will use my LVI, this variable that I just created, dot sub item dot add and I'll give the name of the text box which is text box one LVI dot sub item add I'll give the name of the text box which is text box 2 and if I assume in this I know this is my last one so I'll just add up everything update the list view update Then you end the updation. So this is just a declaration of making the first column uh, trying to keep track of your first column. Then the second one is the sub items. The second one is just to tell the uh, list view that you are now beginning, you are, you are going to begin adding the items to their relevant row. So this is the first column that is added to the list view and we've assigned it to this list view item, a variable that we declared in line 4. Then subsequent columns are regarded as sub items, that's why I, we just said the first item that we added dot sub item should be equal to text box one 
and line also for line 9. Then line 11 will update the list view, line 12 will end the update process. So if I run my program and try to type maybe my name or button, then maybe the course say db.net and I'll click on add as you can see it has been added to the data grid uh, to the list view so you can add as many as you can maybe Tonko Bala but you notice something the serial number is not changing why I didn't increment the serial number so I have to increment the serial number each time so that it will update the cell so let's try again So this is the end of this video.